So Poundland has launched its uh, summer 2016 sort of solar garden lighting range and one of the most visually eye-catching things are these, um, what they call sort of firefly lights, I think, it's the, I think they describe them as firefly lights. And they're solar powered but they have this really tiny solar cell at the top, it's really not, uh, it's not going to take a lot of light, particularly if you hang it under branches around that, which is kind of designed to do I think which is going to shield that, but um, with that in mind, it doesn't try to light the garden as such, it's just using the usual approach of the little button cell inside with the... Um, in this case, they're using uh, the... LED, you know these LED strings that are often described on eBay as copper wire uh, LED strings? And it's the ones that have the, the wire with the LEDs physically bonded onto them, the surface mount LEDs, and then just dipped in resin. So in the case of these ones, I think they've all got the same number, about four. One, two, three. Yeah, they've all got four LEDs in each. And in the case of the clear one, it's a warm white LEDs. In the case of all the other colours, it's cold white. And in a way, it's almost slightly disappointed that they didn't use blue LEDs in the blue one and green LEDs in the green one, but I suppose it just makes it simpler if they just stick to the white LEDs. And when you open these up, uh, it's clear that someone's just uh, basically wrapped it around their finger or a core or something like that and stuffed it in, and it does allow for a, a bit of, sort of fine-tuning. So uh, let's uh, open one of these, in fact, and take a look inside. And I'll show you them later as well, because, uh, you know, they're not too bad, actually. They're not super mega bright, but they're designed as a sort of visual thing. I guess that the sort of way it's spiralled, that might be trying to go for that sort of retro vintage lamp look, but um, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure, because all you do get is the little four little dots of light. So inside is the usual arrangement you'd expect. It's got the solar panel on the top, the tiny little solar panel. The battery is loose inside uh, the little cell and they've wrapped it in a masking tape to stop it shorting out and anything. And then they've got the classic little four pin chip. Has this one got a number on it? Oh, actually this one is uh, not marked. Oh no, no, there's a number in the back. A slightly scuffed number, five, oh, can't remember. it's a 5252F, is that about right? It's one of a, a number of variants uh, that basically have the same function, but uh, different numbering systems. Uh, the little inductor is orange, orange, brown, so that's 330 microhenries. Uh, I'm just actually just wondering what uh, number that is because it's not the, it's one of the standard numbers. Yeah, five two five two F. Um, I can't remember. There's another one that's. Uh, is it called something like X O something? It's uh, got a quite a distinctive and memorable number. That's not a memorable number. But um, yeah, so it's got the little on-off switch with the that. Uh, and a single retaining screw onto this uh, chrome housing, and then the uh, the wires come through, and they've just basically brought them over the top and just tacked them onto the leads. And I guess they're just cutting the sections of LEDs off a sort of string, a full length string. Um, I think the factories that make these uh, LEDs, they just uh, the LED strings like this, they just manufacture it in continuous runs and uh, cut it to length as desired the number of ways. So you get the 20 section strings and 100 section strings. So I'm just going to screw this together. Nothing really remarkable inside. It's pretty much what you'd expect. That classic little button cell of these um, sort of low intensity lights, the ones that are designed more for yeah, just cheap, low-level sort of decorative illumination than trying to actually light garden paths. So um, I'll stuff this back in, and then I shall uh, turn the light off and adjust the camera so you can actually see them. Now that doesn't look too bad, does it? It certainly looks nice looking at them. The uh, It's giving a good representation of the colours. The, the warm white looks the nicest to me. 
uh, followed, I'd say, by the blue with the cold white. All these have the cold white LED. The yellow is a sort of citrus yellow. It's quite a coldish yellow. The red is a sort of magenta-ish because it's got the obviously it's got the blue element of the cold white LEDs, and the green is quite a harsh, sort of pastely green. But you know what? They're not too bad, and I particularly like the fact that um, you get multiple reflections in the the globe, um, particularly depending on the sort of angle you look at, and uh, if they're you've got the lights adjusted properly, if, I guess if there's a bit of wind movement, you'd probably get the sort of light shimmering and flickering back in, backwards and forwards inside. Certainly with any vibration, it seems to uh, make them uh, move a significant amount. So um, I think, to be honest, of, of these, the, the warm white is my favorite. It's the nicest, but that said, they're all pretty good. I, I wonder how long they'll last. Um, on a charge, and I wonder how much of a charge will take at night, because the solar cell is about 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter, say about three quarter inch by three quarter inch, so it's not big by any stretch of the imagination. But um, it'll be interesting to see just what, what sort of charge it puts in. But uh, that's a good start uh, to the 2016 lights from Poundland. Um, they've got some other stuff in that I'll uh, cover in other videos, which uh, so far looks pretty good. But yes, these these are dis quite distinctive. They're quite nice. I almost, you know, I could almost see them being used as a housing for some other sort of DIY LED lamp project. But yeah, they're definitely quite smart. 